On August 27, the California Fuel Cell Partnership brought together local supporters, sponsors, and owners and drivers of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to celebrate the grand opening of the Lake Tahoe Truckee True Zero Hydrogen Station. This hydrogen fueling station is the, the first station in, in Truckee, and it's really part of a, a vision that our company had to build a statewide network of hydrogen stations that not only gave people access to fuel in big markets where likely uh, uh, buyers of fuel cell cars will live, but also provided the flexibility to get around the state to drive your fuel cell car like it's a gasoline car, right? Being able to charge up in four minutes and drive 300 miles to your next destination. There is an interest now. Whenever a station pops up, people realize, you know what, I can do this now. Let's check it out. Uh, the good people at Squaw Valley just uh, put one into their fleet and they're going to do another one, it looks like, and uh, we're going to go from there. Right now, we're at about, I think, 21, 22 in the state. By next year, we're going to be at about 50 plus on our way to at least 100 stations, 100 strategically located stations. And, and this station is important because it's a key destination station. So to get those early adopters interested in these vehicles, we want to give them the ability to go wherever they want to for business, pleasure, for life. Turns out building a network of hydrogen stations is a very difficult, very tough business. Um, and there's a lot of people to thank. So the California Energy Commission provided significant grant funding and it's actually thanks to their commitment and vision uh, that we've gotten to this stage of launching the world's first retail hydrogen network. Uh, the California Air Resources Board uh, has been committed to zero emission vehicles for about two decades now. So it's thanks to them that we have these fantastic cars on the road uh, coming to fruition. Um, we also have uh, Governor Jerry Brown, who appointed actually Tyson Eckerley specifically to help make sure these stations and projects are moving along and getting built. So the governor's office uh, has invested time and personnel into this, and it's been extremely helpful to keep these projects on time and opening. That's great. I'm, I'm thrilled to be on the network, so to speak. You know, Truckee's a destination for a lot of people, and we should be a destination for zero emissions vehicles. The problem with this car is it's very enjoyable to drive. So we're averaging more miles per month than we have in years, and that's including not using our other car hardly at all. It's very easy to fuel. It's, you know, it's virtually not different than fueling with gasoline, except that the way the car connects to the nozzle, not really the way the person behaves in putting it on. I love everything about this car. It's, um, this car has made car sales meaningful to me. Um, I'm driving in a vehicle uh, that's only emission is pure water. It's, uh, it's driven by um, an element that's the most abundant in the universe that can be made from renewable sources from almost any region. Um, it's, uh, it really is a big step towards getting off fossil fuels and if that's the goal for us, this is going to take us a big part of the way there. I'm really excited about this technology. For more information about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and fueling stations, visit the California Fuel Cell Partnership at CAFCP.org.